Dear patients, families and colleagues, today I would like to take a few minutes of your time and discuss with you the implications of our recent scientific article that was published in Nature Medicine that was describing the identification of a soluble circulating blood factor that can cause focosegmental glomerular sclerosis, FSGS. As you know, FSGS is a very devastating disease. It ultimately leads to the scarring of the kidney requiring either dialysis or kidney transplantations. For many, many years we are wondering what's causing this disease and there has been tremendous progress through wonderful genetic studies that have been done by many of our colleagues that really help to understand that the podocyte cells which are localized in the filtering units of the kidney are the key cells for the disease process. Now, we also know that uh, from clinical observations dating back into the early 1970s that there are circulating factors because some of these FSGS cases come right back within hours or days after transplantations. And the explanation was always that there has to be something circulating in the blood that can somehow damage the podocytes so quickly. We were now able to identify that in about two-thirds of FSGS cases that um, a circulating soluble urokinase receptor, which is about a 30 to 50 kilodalton in size protein, is elevated in the blood of these patients and the factor can enter the kidney and bind to a receptor at the podocyte, on the outside of the podocyte. That binding causes a structural change in the podocytes that allows protein to spill from the blood into the urine. When this occurs, the beginning of this disease is essentially put in progress. Uh, now, what does it all mean? I think this is an exciting discovery because it allows us to track the levels of soluble UPAR in the blood of patients with FSGS. Uh, it allows us to potentially derive now therapies that are aimed at removing this protein from the blood, which uh, are giving rise to better therapies, hopefully very soon. It also allows us to block the receptor for that factor on the podocyte, uh, since we know how the factor can uh, instill its bad signals on these cells. Overall, uh, it will help us to better risk stratify uh, transplantation cases and it will hopefully also allow us to engage in more and better research in the future and integrate our finding with the important finding that others have been doing in this field. Uh, thank you to the NEFQ Foundation for being such an advocate and, and helping to try to find uh, the cure for these devastating diseases. Thanks.